Minette Walters' novel, Disordered Minds, is a psychological thriller that explores the complex and often disturbing nature of the human mind. Through the use of multiple perspectives and shifting timelines, Walters creates a compelling narrative that delves into the inner workings of the characters' minds and the events that lead them to their fates. The novel centers around the murder of a woman named Olive Martin, who was convicted of killing her mother and sister, but later recanted her confession. The story is told through the perspectives of several characters, including Olive, her psychiatrist, her former defense lawyer, and her sister's former boyfriend. Each of these characters has their own unique view of Olive and the events that led up to the murders, and Walters masterfully weaves these perspectives together to create a complex and nuanced portrayal of the case. One of the central themes of the novel is the nature of memory and how it can be distorted over time. Throughout the book, Olive's memories of the events leading up to the murders are called into question, and the other characters' memories are shown to be just as unreliable. This raises the question of whether Olive is truly guilty of the murders or if she has been unfairly scapegoated by a flawed justice system. Another important theme in the book is the concept of mental illness and how it is perceived by society. Olive is portrayed as a deeply disturbed and traumatized individual, but the other characters' attitudes towards her mental state vary widely. Some view her as a dangerous criminal who deserves to be punished, while others see her as a victim of her own illness who should be treated with compassion and understanding. Walters uses Olive's case to explore the broader societal attitudes towards mental illness and how these attitudes can shape the way individuals are treated by the justice system. The character of Olive herself is a fascinating study in the complexities of the human mind. Throughout the book, she is shown to be both sympathetic and deeply disturbing, with a history of abuse and trauma that has left her emotionally scarred. As the story unfolds, it becomes clear that Olive's actions were driven in large part by her own disordered mind, but Walters does not offer a simple explanation for her behavior. Instead, she presents a nuanced and multifaceted portrayal of a troubled individual whose actions defy easy explanation. Walter's writing style is engaging and suspenseful, with a keen eye for detail and a gift for crafting vivid and memorable characters. The shifting perspectives and timelines keep the reader on edge throughout the book, as new revelations and plot twists constantly upend our expectations. The pacing is expertly handled, with the tension building steadily until the final reveal. In conclusion, Disordered Minds is a masterful psychological thriller that explores the complexities of memory, mental illness, and human behavior. Through the use of multiple perspectives and a nuanced portrayal of its central character, Walters creates a compelling and thought-provoking narrative that will stay with readers long after the final page. By shining a light on the flaws and biases of the justice system and the broader societal attitudes towards mental illness, Walters forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about ourselves and the world we live in.